Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and Apple has released the second beta of iOS 18.4. Now Apple is going big with this update. The first beta had about 50 new features and changes and we have even more here. We have about another 20 new features and changes to talk about and it's just day one we will probably find a lot more new features and changes added to the second beta of iOS 18.4. Now first off we're talking about priority and notification which has been added to the first beta but now with the second beta if you go to your notifications and you go to prioritize notifications you'd want to only have a button where you can enable or disable them you will actually have buttons for, for all of your apps that you have on your device and you can choose for which apps you want to actually have priority notifications. Now one of the biggest new features of iOS 18.4 will be the new visual intelligence now added as we talked about to the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. You will have a few ways to invoke this. First of all, you can go to the action button settings and then right here you will be able to find visual intelligence, which is an amazing new feature. So let's just go ahead and find here where we have the toggles. So the controls here, we have of course visual intelligence. You can go ahead and add it to your device and of course invoke it directly from here. So if we just use the action button, we can go to the new visual intelligence. As you can see right here, we have the setup and everything you wanna search here or ask anything you want, which is really, really awesome. Now, another way to invoke the visual intelligence will be the control center. Now you have a toggle there for visual intelligence. When you go to add your toggles right here or your controls, whatever you wanna call them, you will have here Apple intelligence and Siri. So you will have a visual intelligence button right there, but you will also have talk, talk to Siri and type to Siri as well. Now, another great thing when it comes to visual intelligence is that you can also utilize the lock screen to actually invoke it. As you can see here, I have the visual intelligence icon. That is the easiest, maybe the best way to actually invoke visual intelligence on your device. If you don't want to use the action button, you can have it on your lock screen at any time from the lock screen, you can go to your visual intelligence. Now, here's a new feature that I really love added to the App Store app with iOS 18.4 beta 2. So let's say you're downloading an app and you will see what happens there. You will now have a pause button where you can pause or resume the download anytime you want. That's really useful. So you can see I can pause and it says resume now. You won't be able to actually cancel it from here. If you just keep it on resume, then you will have to go to your home screen and from here you can actually go ahead and cancel the download. Moving on to the Photos app, if you head on to your Photos app, app and you go to the recently deleted album, you will have now a new recover all button. So if you just want to recover all the photos that you have here, you can simply tap this new button and we'll be able to actually recover all the photos or you can just tap the delete to delete all of them at once. And if you go to your utilities on the photos app, now you will be able to actually rearrange all the folders that you have here. The way to do that, tap that edit button and you can actually go ahead and rearrange them as easy as that. Now what's really cool is that you will also have a reset button which allows to reset them to their default anytime you want. And when you go to the mail app after you have updated to iOS 18.4 beta 2, you will see this pop up right there, find messages that matter most in primary and organize everything else. So right here, it basically tells you what it's doing and how you can turn it off if you want to, you can do that from here or just tap OK to actually continue with that setting. Now talking about the mail app, if you head on to your notifications and you go right here under the mail app, you will find some new options. So here we have mail. If you go to customize the notifications, you will have badge count and you can choose here the unread messages in primary or all read messages. And then you will also have primary inbox. If you go here, you can enable alerts for your primary inbox. You enable it right there and you can go ahead and choose the sounds that you want from here. And as expected, Apple has added new emojis to iOS 18.4 beta 2. These are the only emojis that have been found until now. There are like eight new emojis that Apple has added with this update. And there are a ton of shortcuts that have been added to the shortcuts app. Probably Apple here getting ready for the new Siri features that are expected to come with iOS 18.5, which allows Siri to actually make within app actions 
for of course with your request and you can see right here things that we can change like change calendar settings here change book settings if we go here we will have like a few different options that it allows us to do so as you can see all the different settings that we can change and you will have that for multiple apps so all the stock apps of ios will be added here and of course the ability to change settings now via shortcuts but very soon via siri as well Talking about new settings on the first beta, we talked about these two new sections that have been added here under the podcast app when you go to your account and they didn't work. They were just basically staying there and now they do actually work. So if I tap there, it will take me to notifications or if I want to go to the podcast settings, I can do that as well. It takes me directly to the settings app in the podcast settings. And here is also another change for the control center. If you try to turn on the flashlight, you will notice that the window that pop ups right there is now much bigger than it used to be before. Probably Apple has intended for this to actually make the adjustment of the flashlight much, much easier. Now you get a way bigger window right there. Apple has also added the new Apple Vision Pro app for users that have, of course, the vision pro goggles of course you can use that if you have those but you can also download the app from the app store if you want to but of course there is nothing to it because if you don't have them it's not much that you can use it for also on your settings if you go under apple intelligence and siri if you scroll all the way down here you will have two different sections now within apps you can choose whether you allow apple intelligence to have access to those apps as well but now you will also have clips here and then you will have apps you can go to each of the apps and you can actually choose to change the settings for siri and apple intelligence and on the wallet app if you just have the three dots right there you will find here a new section for your orders for your subscriptions and payments and also your settings so you will have a, this new drop down menu where you will find and be able to organize your stuff now here we have also the first test of ios 18.4 beta 2 with geekbench 6 now of course the score is not the best ever it's very comparable to the first beta but this is just like fresh on the device so we have to wait a few days and see if we get a better result but the single core score is a 2937 very similar to the first beta which is also the multi-core score which currently is at 7339 so what to expect next of course we will have the third beta and in my opinion it could happen as soon as next week i believe apple has released the majority of the new features with these first two betas so now beta 3 beta 4 maybe even beta 5 will be probably a bit smaller with less new features and changes so i would expect the 10th or the 11th of march to actually be the dates that apple releases the, the third beta of ios 18.4 so that's basically it for this video guys if you enjoyed the video please make sure to hit that like button and of course subscribe for more ios 18.4 videos and i will see you on the next one